Hey guys, this is Prof and you're watching Prof and Next Gen, and this is Fallout 4 14 Power Armor Locations Guide. I try and start in the sanctuary on the map location so you can make it easier for you to find each and every one of these armors. The first few pieces of armor are really easy for anyone to find, and your level gives you a better chance to find higher level armor, but that doesn't mean you're going to get a better or worse drop, it just ups your chance to get something better. There are five different types of power armor, the T45, T51, T60, X, Zero One, and the Raider power armor. The first power armor you get is really close to the sanctuary, this is number one. You'll find it right next to the robotics disposal ground. I'm not going to tell you what's around here, what you're going to see or anything like that, but you'll find it right past these cars in the back. I got it earlier, so I'm not quite sure. It should be somewhere around the vicinity, but I got it before and I came back just to show you guys this one. As long as you come to these locations not already wearing a power armor, you should be able to get a fusion core in every single one of these power armors. Power armor number two is next to the USAF satellite station. They make this one really, really easy for you to get. So first things first, you want to run past this plane right to the center. Continue on this little tiny path and right there, right after the plane, here's your next power armor. Power armor number three is next to Mystic Pines. They call this one the underwater power armor and no, it's not because it makes it easier for you to breathe underwater, but because this one is actually underneath the lake in the water, real close to the shore. You can see it's right next to this broken down highway. You can tell because there's posters up here, but it's really, really easy because when you look on the map, it's like on a tip top point of the lake. So as you can see, there's a plane right next to the shallow part of the water. You just go in, go into the water, just keep walking and it should, you should see right there. I mean, real quick, there it is. And that's another way to get another, another piece of power armor really quick, really simple. Power armor number four can be found next to Drumlin Diner and Lexington. So this one's really easy to find. This one you're actually gonna find on top of a train inside of a cage. Only thing is, I hope you have your science up and you're gonna need a perk on your computer hacking because there's a computer on this train to open up the cage. So it's gonna be advanced, but it's not too simple. All you need is one point to get advanced, so you're good to go. Once you go to have that, and you, you definitely got it, just go to the computer, hack the computer, and there you go, cage is gonna open, and there's your next power armor. Here we go. Power umber number five can be found in between College Square and the Corvega assembly plant. This one is a pain in the butt to, because you have to actually find a bucket lift. You're gonna to wanna to take this bucket lift onto the road. See right here, you can see where the road is at. It's an old highway that's broken down. But as soon as you, you, you get there, you can see the bridge, it's all broken down. And you're gonna see this bucket lift. This bucket lift, you're gonna to wanna to take it straight to the top. I'm not gonna show you what's up there, but we're gonna go ahead and get to the top. And as soon as you get up there, you turn, and you're going to be able to see the power armor. It's really easy to see. This is one of those other power armors you're going to just want to get because it's real simple to get to. And there it is. One thing I think you guys should take into consideration, you're not always going to find an entire suit of armor. Which sucks, I know, but they want to make you work for it. So I got lucky that they gave me a full power armor this time. At this point in the game, I decided I wanted to start swimming. So... I didn't really get any locations, but you can definitely see where it is on the map. It's close to the lake's bend. This armor is also inside of a cage, and once again, you have to hack a computer. And this one just happens to be also an advanced computer hack. As you can see, this is one of those times where the armor I got, it was a T-51. The only thing is, I didn't get all the pieces. So it's the luck of the draw, really. Alright guys, power armor number 7 can be found directly south of the sanctuary, below Greater Mass Blood Clinic. This power armor is fairly easy to procure and has a few armor crafting spots just in case you decide you want to work on your power armor while you're here. So there's plenty of stations so don't worry, there's space for you. Once again I came here with my own power armor on so I didn't really need to take the whole power armor so I just took the pieces which made it simple. Since I did come with my own power armor there was no fusion core in there for me to take. Power armor number, number 8 is also close to the Greater Mass Blood Clinic, only this one is out in the open for easy pickings. I mean, it doesn't get any easier than this. You just go there, walk by it, and boom, you got it. So here you guys, you can see there's a bunch of cars 
We're going to go through the fence that you can see over here. I was just walking around because I just wanted to see what else was around. But you walk past the gate, turn to your right, and there it is. So power armor number 9 is one of the more simple armors to get to. Just fast travel to Ten Pines Bluff or walk there if you haven't already gotten it and simply walk down the, the cliff. It's a straight walk straight down away from the, the settlement. Just walk down the cliff and then jump off of the cliff. You're going to see there's a train directly beneath you. You got to make sure you hit the highest part of the train. You don't want to accidentally kill yourself. But you can see here where I'm going. There's, it's a pretty simple jump. Don't go on that side because you will kill yourself. Just jump right here and you have a perfect clean jump to the bottom, the back of the train and you're good to go. You don't have to do a long walk all the way around the whole mountain. So there's a power armor. You want to walk to the back of the train, go inside and hack the computer. Again, this one needs advanced hacking so you better have your science up. Once you've done that, walk to your power armor and claim your prize. So this is where they start getting really hard to get and enemies are pretty badass. Power armor number 10 can be found at South Boston Military Checkpoint. It's directly behind the building in a cage, Expert Computer Terminal. So if you don't have your hacking skills in, to an expert, don't even try this guys. Also as you travel south, things keep getting harder and harder. So I suggest you have your gear up and your signs up. Because believe it or not, some of these terminals get more difficult and you need experts. Power Armor number 11 is close to the BATFL regional office and is in a cage on a ship this time. Good stuff, they changed it up. Uh, hack the Novus computer terminal and the armor's yours. Power armor number 12 can be found in the National Guard Trading Yard. Not too far from the, the BADTFL regional office we are just at. This one is really difficult, so honestly, be sure you know what you're doing if you go here. <clears throat> you're going to want to go through that big red door, hack the terminal, and go get your armor. And it's yours. Like I've done a few times before, I came with my own power armor. So all I did was just grab the pieces that I needed and... Once I became over encumbered, I just gave the extra items to the dog. Once you grab your armor, you're going to want to turn around, go next to the toolbox, and right to the left of it, you're going to see a Vault Tech lunchbox. Power armor number 13 is close to Nordhagen Beach. This one, honestly, I can say is easy to get, but the travel is hard. So once you finally get up here, you can it's not even hard to get, but the traveling here really is a bitch. So when you, once you get here, all you really have to do is walk up to this lonely bunker, go inside, and it's yours. It's that simple. Last and finally on my list, Power Armor number 14. Honestly guys, if you're going for this one, you better bring your A-game. I'm just saying. This one you can find next to the Murkwater construction site. You'll find it this armor next to a crashed whirly bird just sitting in the water. So find your way over there, walk right past the ship, and to its right side, you'll find it just sitting there. Just like here. That's the funny, I wanted to tell you guys, if you haven't been to Diamond City yet, I suggest you go there. It's a great place to get a lot of missions and the game really can, starts to open up for you. Also, there's a guy there who will sell um, armor frames for you if you find yourself needing. Also, I wanted to say thanks to everyone who subscribed to me. I finally, today I hit 200 subscribers. Thank you. I bow to all of you. It's been awesome. Please like, share, subscribe to my, my uh, channel. And I hope to see you guys again for some more. Just go ahead and get your armor here right after you bought and it's good. Take care guys. Peace out.